Welcome to Church Office Online's MailChimp tutorial. Church Office Online is delighted to partner with a nationally known popular web-based mass emailing service called MailChimp. With an online mass email program, churches will appreciate the following advantages. From start to finish, all the programs and utilities you need are provided. No longer will you need to purchase desktop-based programs for each entry user. It allows you to involve a multiple of people in the design, graphics, content, and publications of the program. Do you have a missionary that sends you a newsletter? Now they can actually be given access to your MailChimp service and create it online. Unlike traditional church communications, we seldom find out if people are getting them. With MailChimp, it will report back to you how many open the email and click through to other links provided. It even tells you how well you did over the last email letter you sent. Nothing can improve communication more than real-time feedback. And I almost forgot. Now, for most churches who have less than 2,000 deliverable email addresses in their database, the service is free. Now, from the time you log in, you'll discover that MailChimp, like Church Office Online, is, a simple, is simple to use with all the features you need. Learning about MailChimp and setting up your account is easy and supported with text and short video tutorials throughout the program. MailChimp's online service has seven basic email features which allow you to design, publish, share, track, manage, integrate, and have a mobile connectivity. These features, together with your Church Office Online account, provide a robust church mass email communications program. We believe its features will vastly improve your communications to your members and attendees. We, as we all know too well, effective communication is the greatest challenge and need in churches today. Well, to get started, you will need to do the following. Sign up for a MailChimp account, prepare MailChimp to import your email list, and integrate MailChimp with your Church Office Online account. Let's begin. To sign up for a MailChimp account, just go to the link provided in Church under Communications and follow the instructions MailChimp provides. The links are also included in admin under our mass email integration features. When you click the link to sign up for or manage your MailChimp account, you'll be taken to MailChimp's sign up login page. Follow the easy instructions for the free account and note that no billing information is taken. Enter your email address as your username and password. You will receive instruction to activate your account in your email. Once you activate, then you can go to MailChimp login where you can re-enter your login information. To get started, you will need to enter more information about you and your church organization. After completing that, you will need to create a list. Now, a list is where you store contacts, such as the people that are in your church, or they say either subscribe through sign-up forms, or you can import those lists uh, into your program using the sync um, import that is in um, Church Office Online. But before you do that, you need to create a list, so you'll want to do that. Uh, to create a list, you can select the list from the sidebar menu and simply it will tell you you have no list. So you go to create a list and we're going to give the list the name. And this list that you're going to create um, is a list that is necessary in order for you to begin the initial sync to the program. And so we're going to just put an all um, church list. You can name it whatever you want, but basically what you're going to be uh, referring to is this is a list which is going to contain all contact names of all uh, of imports that you or sinks that you put into the program. So it's going to be an, an all mail to list. Um, um, just going to get it all in this. Uh, and and um, there is a default reply. Uh, to email and so you want to put that default reply as the the um, say the, um, uh, the 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 person to who is going to get uh, uh, the emails from MailChimp that indicates the, the mailing has been completed or that uh, uh, say support is needed or if they want to um, sign up or if they wanted to uh, uh, say uh, drop off the list and this is the name uh, the email address that you would want to give them. And of course, it, it would not be the one that I am typing in, but it would be the one uh, that you would be referring um, to um, on your in your own program. And the uh, sub default subject uh, of this list, again, would be um, church members, say. 
Uh, there's got a couple other selections that you want to put in here. Uh, write a short rem uh, reminder about how the recipient joined your list and and uh, often uh, the con reminder is they have one included below that works very well and that is that uh, uh, you're receiving this email because you opted in at our website or because you are a member of, of the church. Next um, they'll give you a sample that this is uh, the correct contact information for the church which you'll want to do and to make sure that information is uh, and then just go ahead uh, you can edit that if you want notifications daily summary notifications you can indicate any of one of these things uh, uh, subscribe uh, those notifications when they happen so uh, just click all of those and um, and people uh, can pick up uh, email form HTML or plain text uh, most people just <laughs> prefer the um, uh, the HTML over plain text, so I would just uh, not mark that. And then just go ahead and click Save. Now that you've done so, you've created a list, and um, um, and you can now uh, uh, go ahead and click on um, your name up here, uh, whatever account name you created, and go ahead and we'll go ahead and get the API. Uh, from your program which is through this account and then you're going to go to extras and in extras you'll find the API keys there. There shouldn't be a key at this point because it's a new program so you want to go down and create this API key. Uh, when you create it uh, you'll be given this key here and what you'll be doing is you'll copy that entire key and it's that key that you are going to place into your church membership online program. And to do that, all you need to do is go back to the sign on to your church membership online program, log into your program, and uh, once you log into your program, you're going to be going into the um, the um, integration part of your program. You know that there's a mass email uh, program here. Uh, you can set up uh, just by clicking admin integrations, and then once you do that. Um, uh, you can go ahead and paste in the key that you copied and just click save and now you, It'll tell you that your API was saved successfully and now If you go back to church and go to mass email Program you now come back to the mass email communications page and you'll notice that you are now connected and the synchronization has been performed and you notice that um, the list that you created in MailChimp called All Church List now appears in the selected MailChimp email list. Now all you have to do uh, is if you would like to sync all your um, um, emails, addresses that you have in your program to MailChimp, all you have to do is select in this option here um, to select all here and uh, you'll see nine that are selected and just hit synchronize. Once you do that, you will receive a, a confirmation of how many email addresses were pulled from your program and placed into that list in MailChimp. And it indicates that 45 emails were synchronized. Again, thank you for viewing this video tutorial. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please contact support at Church Office Online. Thank you.